everyone that we've talked to on the Bison side is really looking forward to this game as a measuring stick of sorts, a matchup against a Big Ten opponent in Minnesota, who they took down just under a year ago in Fargo. The Gophers win the tip. We'll get you there. Starting lineup, Maya Battle, Mara Braun in the backcourt, Mallory Heyer and Grace Graholski, the forwards, and Sophie Hart, the center. Braun got it inside the heart. Hart makes a move to her left. Can't get it to fall over Christina Ikofo Umain. That's going to be a matchup to watch here. Ikofo Umain only made two starts last year, but they're going to go to her in the starting five here today for the first time this year. And we'll get to that starting lineup after this. Heaven Hamling dribbling to her left. Floater up off the rim. No good. High with the rebound over the battle. Starting lineup for North Dakota State. Abby Draper, Heaven Hamling as higher gets downhill. Kicks it back out to Mara Braun. Foul is called on the pass into battle. And the gopher ball underneath will finish out that lineup. Heaven Hamling at the two. Christina Ikofo Umain getting her first start as well mentioned. And then L. Evans and Abby Schulte. I know L. Evans was someone we were really excited for coming into this one. Makes an impact on both ends of the court. Sophie Hart. Hamling can't find anything, and that one will go off of her. Yeah, that's the first turnover. They're averaging 18 on the season, something that Coach Collins, Jory Collins, is not going to like. Braun fires one from deep and hits. Would you expect anything less from Marbron, averaging 25 points per game this season? And now they pick up a turnover going back. The Gophers really, really off to a hot start here, and Mara Braun picking up right where she left off. She has 25 or more points in three consecutive games. Yeah, and just keeping that streak alive as she's able to knock down another triple. Shooting 42% from the beyond the arc so far this season. Graholski getting downhill inside, gets space on Evans. Yeah, and Braun is not just a scorer, as you saw there. She plays some tough defense, three and a half steals per game this season. Braun guarding Evans. Looking to get downhill. L. Evans inside. Over Braun, no good. Higher with another board. Like you said, a really strong defense from Braun picking up where she left off in the three-on-three -three global tournament she participated in this summer. Battle gets into the defense. Left-handed layup, and that's the third one that's gone down for the Gophers, and it's 9 to nothing early. Collins wants to talk it over with his Bison. It, they are struggling here as, once again, Minnesota has a hot start, averaging 29 points per game in the first quarter. Bedziri, Mar Marwa Bedziri checks into the game for the first time. Usual starter for the Bison, started the first two games. Did not start this one. Heaven Hamling up top, gets it over. Abby, Chris Winsky gets it over to Al Evans. And, and now Battle is looking to bring it up for Minnesota. Graholski forcing the pickup and then getting back to contest a shot as well. Battle goes right through. from the sophomore guard from Hopkins, Minnesota. She'll drill that one. Resume again here against NDSU. Hamling up and under fake. Doesn't get that one. Just all air. Good hustle for the rebound. And the Bison keep it. Hamling with the floater again. That one falls. Amaya battle with it. Finds Sonano on the right wing. Sonano to her left. And a foul is called. Need to extend the lead from the charity strike. Ayana Johnson can't get that one to fall. And she went 9 for 13 from the floor as she makes the second free throw. Now an eight-point lead for Minnesota. Coonan driving to her left. And a travel. One of the six players on the Bison from the land of 10,000 lakes. Downhill battle inside and a foul on McKenna. More defensive pressure on Mara Braun. Can't hit that free throw. Usually we see her as the distributor. Set the program record for assists by a freshman with one. Top of that, three straight games now of five or more assists for the point guard of the Gophers. Looking to make it four here tonight. Now Janae Sanders checks in for battle. I know she's someone that we were both really excited for in our pregame prep. We'll talk more about her in a minute. Jump shot from Evans is pure. Finds Braun to her right. Pulls it from tree. Off the rim. Rims out. Rebounded by the Bison. Hamling bringing it up. Tell you what, that shot didn't fall for Braun, but she'll take that ten times out of ten. Nice three-pointer there. Yeah, Braun gets downhill into the contact. No call. Rebounded by Hamling. Outlet pass is intercepted by Graholski, and Minnesota has it right back. And on Draper, she was one for five from three before that one. Steps into that one with confidence and knocks it down. Graholski into the defense and finishes the tough layup 
under the arm of L. Evans, who was a pest last season on defense and still is very lengthy. That one falls. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. I tell you what, felt like we had a lid on the basket for the first seven minutes of play or so, but now it's really opened up in these last two minutes. We'll see if the momentum can carry over to the second quarter as well. Janae Sanders cutting inside, goes to the rim. That one's up and good. Sanders gets the hand out there trying to draw the five-second call, but she's not being given anything from the ref. Nine seconds left in the first quarter. Simon up top. Simon trying to back down Sonano, hands it off. Hamling. From three off the mark, Graholski gets it, and she'll just dribble out the first quarter. Came from the Summit League, actually. Coach South Dakota was a three-time Summit League coach of the year. What, are we, what did the Minnesota Gophers get in her? Yeah, she has a lot to offer now as Braun knocks it down from outside. But getting back to Plitzowite, six seasons in the Summit League, has a lot of familiarity with this NDSU program, then went to... West Virginia for a season, a really strong defensive-minded coach who really seems to have the culture bought in here for the Gophers. Now, I think you, if you're the Gophers, you'd rather battle take that contested shot inside. Braun outside, in, the triple, no good, rebounded. Rather than make that sloppy pass and almost cost a turnover there. Chris Winsky downhill, steps under. Likes to get to the charity strike. Braun with it, inside the heart. Makes a move to her left, gets it over the defender, but can't get it to fall. And Graham with the board. Hamling with it now. Ikofo Umain sets the screen. Pass to Kurswinski. Guarded by Holloway. Ikofo Umain, not shy from outside, but can't knock down the three. Chris Winsky, nice hands, taps it away from higher, and the Bison got it right back. There's the offensive rebounding intensity we saw from NDSU. They posted really strong offensive glass numbers in each of their first two games. Ikofo Umain, inside on Hart, goes to her left, blocked by Sophie Hart. Minnesota has it. Ikofo Umain at 6-1, but Hart towers over her at 6-5, uses her length to make that play on defense. All the way inside to Hart, dumps it off, and she finishes. And the Gophers extend their lead back to 9. Here, 23-14 with 7 minutes left to go in the second quarter. Good catch from Evans to save that one from going out of bounds. Gets to her left, stops Chris Winsky in the corner, fires off the mark. Rebounded by Heyer. Now that we've seen Hart really make herself at home in the paint, I wonder if Coach Plitzwhite's going to keep going back to the battle. Well. From mid-range, knocks it down. There's the jump shot she's been talking about. Whether it's on her gold-blooded podcast or in media availability, she talked about how much she's worked on a jump shot. Nia Holloway jumps the pass and to the rim. Easy. 41 and white. After that tough injury, Nehemiah Holloway looks right at place. Here in the barn, 18 win last season, and has been strong for the Bison here over the last few years. Really remarkable the turnaround he's had for this North Dakota State program coming off of a long stint at Emporia State. Riley Simon, so Collins wanting to avoid really any sort of foul trouble here early. Maya Battle with it, guarded by McKenzie, who checked back into the game after that timeout as well. Battle downhill to her left, flips it up, it doesn't but it's really opened up opportunities for Battle, and she's been really strong getting to the rim as well. Battle could have knocked down the first free throw, getting the second attempt here. Already three assists on the day, looking to make it four straight games with five. Great ball distributor. Really aren't fooling anyone. Al Evans over to Schulte. Higher now guarding, and an offense. Braun looking to get open on the inbounds. Pass does. Schulte Gardner. Holloway faces up. Simon defending, Holloway to her left, Nehemiah. The entire season last year with that knee injury, good to see Nehemiah Holloway back and contributing in a big way to this Gopher team. Simon now with it, Hamling. Hamling gets it back, fires from three. That one's off, rebounded by the Gophers. Higher, another off board on the defensive end. Braun gets it up to Holloway, the finish and transition. On all levels right now, Higher picked up her eighth board, got it up to Braun. We talked about her playmaking ability, gets it to Holloway. The Gophers really, really showing out here in the first half. Yeah, Braun mentioned how her play in the USA team three, by, three times three over the summer, whether it was in any country she traveled to, Croatia, Greece, all the travel, traveling she did over that long summer. 
She credits that to how her playmaking has improved as Battle pulls it from deep. And it's rebounded by the Bison. Hamling rebounds it and brings it up. Finds L. Evans in the corner. She fires and knocks down the three. Six games split between the Gophers and Appalachian State. Inbounds pass is tipped away, but a just under 71%. Good to see her knock that one down. Knocks them both down. Corner for Minnesota, so on the next one, the Bison would get to shoot two from the line. Schulte with it. Inside pass, and that one's another turnover. Going downhill on Schulte, gets inside. The flip up is no good. Hart fighting for that rebound, but it's rebounded by Schulte, who outlets it to Graham. Evans can't knock down the three in transition. Hart with it. Puts away calling out the play. Hart looking to set a double screen with higher. Battle finally uses them. Hart posting up inside. Can't get that one. Finally corrals it. Sets a screen. Janae Sanders with four seconds. Pulls it from mid-range. And then there's some senior leadership by Janae Sanders and Heaven Hamling. Hamling was playing at NDSU when Plitzwhite was at South Dakota. Schulte brings it up. Simon sets the pick. Schulte goes behind the back trying to get by Holloway. Dumps it off. Simon inside for the layup. I tell you what, Andrew, I think they were trying to go fast there to maybe get a two-for-one look, but just a little too slow now as the Gophers will be able to hold for last shot. And who else would you want the ball in the hands of but Maya Mara Braun? Yeah, Mara Braun up top. Dancing to her left, Evans guarding, higher outside, fires from three. She got it. We saw that a lot last season. She knocked down a five triples against Wisconsin. That one heaved from almost half court. No good. And Minnesota takes a 22-point lead into the break as they've been clicking on all cylinders. And she's been she's been a really, really strong out of the backcourt here, and she's going to match up with Heaven Hamling here to start the second half. Yeah, and uncharacteristically for Heaven Hamling, just two points, one for six from the floor, and also six turnovers in that first half. L. Evans steps into one to start the half. Can't get that one to fall. Rebounded by Hart inside. Go for ball. Once again, Evans, she looked like she had some room to drive, maybe pull up for a floater, but she settles for the mid-range. Another poor shot selection here for this Bison team. Another off-the-ball foul. This one against the offensive Gophers, and it'll go the other way. Abby Schulte over to Ikofo Umain. Back outside, L. Evans from three. She got it. That's a way to start the half off if you're a Bison fan. Trying to work their way back into this one. The Gophers were on a 20-5 to run over seven minutes heading into that break. And that's just what the Bison needed. Evans now into double figure shooting three of five from outside. She's had some really high quality looks. And now she finally gets one to fall. Yeah, now 11 points on the day for the leading scorer as Braun, the leading scorer for the Gophers, answers right back with a triple of her own. Braun from the logo, my goodness. We talked about she'd been a little bit quiet in the first half, starting out the third quarter here with a bang. North Dakota State with it now, Schulte. Gets the screen, goes inside on Hart, trying to find space, does, and finishes through the contact, and and one. Working down into the block, we'll get a replay here. Strong finish with the right hand going up against all six foot five of Sophie Hart. Nice play there for the Maple Grove, Minnesota native. Tries to find Braun, who was open backside, cannot. Battle attacks, fading jump shot is good. Turnaround jumper. Really, really strong work there from the sophomore. Elevens can't get that one to go, but cleaning it up. Kofu Yume in her first points of the game. We talked about her earlier getting her first start of the season. I think really just a matchup size-wise better against Sophie Hart. First real tall opponent that NDSU has faced thus far. Amaya Battle over to Kraholski. She fires from deep. She got it. And she's automatic right there. With a hand in her face as well. That was a really nice closeout by Abby Schulte off the switch. It didn't matter, though. Graholski knocks it down. Schulte with it. Kicks it outside. Hamling from three. She got it. Yeah, the NDSU star is really kind of starting to get hot here in the third quarter. Higher wide open from three. After the trap, they do leave higher wide open in the corner. To see if they it. look to continue that trap here. Higher hits from three. She knocks it. Well, outlet it to Heaven Hamling in transition. Graham back to he- Hamling. Flips it up with the left and gets it to really go. Nice scoop finish there, keeping it away from the defense, almost lobbing it over her head. Really, really nice play there from the graduate student. 
And Amaya Battle gets it. Backdoor cut higher. She's got a double-double. After a quiet first half, Heaven Hamling sneakily having a nice game now. Seven points to go with three assists and six rebounds as a guard. Hamling outside, guarded by Hart. A mismatch. Also in the post, Bedziri working on Battle. Can't get open. Evans with it. Gets it inside. Chris Winsky off the bench, and she... With another shot at the line. Yeah, and after struggling all first half, Battle and Hamling has been a battle all night. Amaya just inside. Pull up from mid-range. She's fouled. Looking to add to a really, really strong performance. Knocks down the first. 15 points and 7 assists. Definitely the kind of performance that this Gopher program was hoping to get from her when they signed her out of Hopkins. Miss basketball. In the ball for Minnesota. Sophie Hart. Screen, Janae Sanders pull up, air ball, higher with the good hustle to save it, but it's right into the arms of Heaven Hamling. Backside pass, Schulte wide open, can't get down to fall. Hamling on the backside, gets the rebound, but can't get it to go. Another offensive rebound, and she gets fouled. Disgusted with her team's effort on that last play. In that earlier play, but regardless, good to see her back out here for this gopher team. And immediately after, she checks out of the game. Leah McKenzie, L. Evans, Avery Coonan, Abby Schulte, and Simon still in the game for the North Dakota State Bison. I will say, interesting choice to put Braun in now without battle out there. Seems like they were really playing well complimentary. Up and under finish. Evidently, no battle, no problem, as Braun is able to get inside, get a nice look in the paint and knock it down. Evans off the screen, Schulte. Guarded by Heyer. Battle of the 24s. Jumps the pass. Holloway gets the steal. Sonano. Nice effort by Nehemiah Holloway to keep that one in play after she stole it. Sanders. And that's her third steal of the game. She's been great on the defensive end all season. And it's not stopping tonight. 42 seconds left in the third quarter. And McKenzie stepped out of bounds trying to field that inbounds. Catching a toe on the line. Braun gets the inbounds pass. They can go two for one here if they're quick. And a foul is called on the entry pass to Johnson. As I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, had 19 points in just 13 minutes in the game against Chicago State. Yeah, she's been relatively quiet. Her first few minutes of game action, she committed two turnovers, so maybe more or less in the Coach Pete doghouse, but still definitely an impact player for this Gopher team. McKenzie up top, guarded by Sanders. Simon sets the screen. McKenzie back outside to Schulte. Cuts inside, hits hard. First shot from Schulte. 25 seconds left. Gophers can hold for the final shot as Schulte knocks down both. And it's back to a 20-point game. Graholski gets the inbounds pass. Guarded by Grace Masakoy, who just checked in as well. Avery Coonan also in for North Dakota State. Braun up top, gets a screen from Johnson, attacks downhill on Simon, but pulls it back out. Battle outside, going to her left, pulls up. Jump shot is pure. With time expiring the first half, Amaya Battle now at 17 points on the night. And she's been good with 24 minutes here today with 10 more to go in this one. You know, it's crazy that we're looking at a gopher player in double figures and making three threes, and we're thinking of it as a quiet night, but that's just the standard of excellence that Braun, Braun has set. Yep, rebounded. Schulte is fouled. The most notable other player is Lindsay Whalen, who did just two games faster, and we talked to her before the game, and she said, it was nice to pass Rachel, Ban Rachel Banham. Collins made an adjustment, and we see Abby Draper miss the first of two. Rotate on the play in the low post, just... Got the hand in there a little too early. No harm, no foul, though, as both free throws will. Battle brings it up. Higher looking for it. Battle stops on dime. Trying to get inside the heart, but cannot. Gerholski, sure fire shot from three. Can't not. And Hamling brings it up for the Bison. Al Evans on the left wing. Firing his Draper. She knocks that one down. NDSU looks to scratch and claw their way back into this one. Certainly not out of reach if they can 
get a few stops in a row, or as Coach Blitzwet calls it, a TKO. Braun up top, going to her left, uses the screen, attacks the rim, can't get down to fall, but a foul is called. Braun hasn't really been on her A game like usual. She knocks down the, for this Gopher team. Knocks down both. Charity stripe. Eleven's backside. Can't hit the three. Higher comes down with another rebound. Had five double doubles last season. She's got another one here tonight. And her latest one came against Wisconsin. And Sophie Hart gets that. Talked about higher. She's also the most recent Gopher to post a double double for points and rebounds. Did that, like you said, last February against Wisconsin. Yeah, and in that game, contest the layup leads to a foul. The Gophers definitely their points of emphasis coming in. You can really check all the boxes. Higher over to battle. Battle finds higher. Higher wasn't expecting it, catches it, and knocks down the jumper. Hamling pushing it up the court, guarded by Battle. She pulls it from deep and knocks it. Hasn't had the game she's wanted offensively, but the team is up a lot, and she can't be more happy with that. Full court press here from the Bison. Braun backside, fires from deep. Can't get that one to go. And Graholski's effort right under four minutes here left to go in this one. Inbounds past Hamling, guarded by Battle. Inside Coonan. Can't get that one to go, but avoid that altogether. Free throws, 9 and 10 for the Bison. Hold a deep dig back from after trailing by so much at halftime. Offensive rebound and another foul, that one. And they did call that one on higher, so she does foul out. That's number 5 for her. Yeah, first game, she's fouled out in college. Now five fouls, she finishes 12 points, 12 rebounds on four or six shooting. Very efficient night for the gopher forward. Graham with it, up top. Evans. Evans driving on Sanders. Tries to get the contact, can't draw any. Battle gets the board, and will bring it up for Minnesota. Krahulski over to Battle. Sanders gets it now. Hart flashing. Sanders to the lane. And she easily gets to the rim, blowing by the defender. And puts the Gophers back up by 23 now. If Janae Sanders can continue to carve out this role for the Gopher team, that's just another huge depth piece that they can build towards as they enter conference play. But Ziri confident on that shot. Couldn't get it to go. Braun with the board. And Sanders with it once again. Getting to the lane, draws more contact, tries to flip that one up. Did call that one a shooting foul. It'll be two shots for Janae Sanders. Knocks down the first and just coasting to win so far this season. Two massive wins over Long Island and Chicago State. Thorough team win for this Gopher team, really in all, in all phases of the game. As Grace Graholski gets a nice hand as she checks out. Possibly for the final time here tonight with the Gophers leading by so much. Nehemiah Holloway checks in. You could tell coming into this one that it, it meant a little extra for, for both teams and honestly both coaches. Coach Blitzwhite wants to continue her new era here at the U with a win. A win over a familiar opponent and a familiar coach on the other side. It's definitely a statement win for this Gopher team against the highest quality opponent they've played thus far. Battle attacking downhill. Gets into the defense. It falls. Amaya Battle ties her career high with 19 points now. And she can make it a new one with this free throw. We're going to look back on this game in a couple months as the Amaya Battle coming out party. My goodness, has she been electric. And now with a huge free throw to try to set her new career high. Battle does just that, and a new career high for the Gophers point guard, Amaya Battle. 20 points on the night with nine assists, one away from a double-double. And she really struggled in the opener as well, had five turnovers against LIU. Holloway and Johnson looking to screen. Sanders getting downhill, inside, flips that one up and can't get it to fall, but will go to the line once again. 
Sanders can't get that one to fall. And for the first time here tonight, Ajuk Madal. Someone that could definitely be a future piece for the Gophers. Still a little bit raw, but very exciting piece for the uh, Don Plitzwhite coaching staff to build around. Massacoy can't get that one to fall. Bedziri on the offensive glass. Steps through, flips it up, and in on and one. Can't be happy with that offensive rebound and bucket as Bedziri finishes off the three-point play. Taryn and Heaven, Heaven Hamling playing together for the first time. Rotation level players that Coach Plitzwhite has at her disposal. Seems like there are eight, nine, ten players on this Gopher team that can step up, play impact minutes, be solid and counted on on both ends of the floor. If we can be anywhere near 500 heading into Summit League play, that he would be very happy. And they're one and two on the season after this loss, but nowhere. They haven't even started conference play. They'll look to start that strongly. Play up to their ability tonight, walking out of Minneapolis with a tough loss, but the Gophers will advance to 3-0. and oh, Another big win to kick off the Don Plitzwhite era. Yeah, and Amaya Battle, the star of the show. 20 points, 7 for 13 shoot, shooting. 6 for 8 from the free throw line.